while power is out in Grass Valley. The Nevada Irrigation District is up and running, powered by a generator that should only be running for a day and a half at a time, now on its fifth day because of the PG&E power shutoffs, which is why the general manager says someone needs to take action. It's about local control. It's about taking back the opportunity to decide how we as a community want to run our power system. People looking at today's winds that triggered the power shutoff say enough is enough. If there's a breeze, we're going to be cut off from electricity. I mean, that's not acceptable to me. About 200 people piled into the district's office, spilling into an overflow room and the lobby, all because of their growing frustration. My gosh, how did we get to this point? And now we feel like We've moved somewhere into a third world country with everything that's going on. It's tragic and we need to do something about this. They say the shutoff is impacting everything from local shops to real estate sales. Um, we're having a hard time closing our escrows. We're just really crippled right now. Which is why Nevada Irrigation District hosted the meeting to talk about possibly taking power back from PG&E. We would purchase their assets and property as, as necessary to begin the service here in our community. Residents say they're empowered by the idea. Well, it's not just any one company that should be in control. And this is a multi-layered issue. And there's no, there's no villain, there's no victim. What there is is a problem with a solution. If the water agency takes over, people say the actual power equipment may also require an overhaul, not just the owner. They would still have the same overhead power lines that PG&E has. So is that really a solution? We need to come up with a longer term solution. 